I just finished uh, a very uh, good and productive meeting with um, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak uh, and I praised him uh, and the United Kingdom for their strong support to our transatlantic alliance to NATO in a dangerous world. It's even more important that North America stand uh, and Europe stand together in NATO and uh, the United Kingdom uh, is uh, a key and leading uh, ally in many different ways. Uh, the United Kingdom leads uh, our uh, multinational battle group uh, in Estonia. Uh, the United Kingdom uh, uh, keeps uh, the skies over our eastern flank uh, safe by uh, being part of our air policing uh, in the eastern part of the alliance. And uh, uh, British uh, naval uh, ships are an important part of NATO patrols uh, 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 around uh, uh, NATO territory. Um, I also praised um, the Prime Minister for the strong support uh, the United Kingdom provides uh, to Ukraine. This morning I visited uh, one of the training sites um, uh, for Ukrainian soldiers. I saw uh, here, here in the United Kingdom and I saw uh, the brave young Ukrainian soldiers being trained by um, British trainers, but also trainers from Canada, from Lithuania, from other NATO allied countries, proving how uh, the United Kingdom plays a key role in leading our efforts in uh, uh, providing uh, support to Ukraine. Um, the United Kingdom have done that for many years, uh, trained close to 30,000 Ukrainian soldiers, stepped up uh, after invasion, and uh, uh, the message is that we need to continue to support Ukraine. Um, if President Putin wins in Ukraine, it will be uh, disastrous for Ukrainians, uh, but it will also uh, uh, make us more vulnerable, because then the message to President Putin, to other authoritarian leaders, will be that they can get their way, achieve their goals by uh, using brutal military force. So it was a good meeting and, uh, and I am confident that I continue to count on the United Kingdom as a leading NATO ally. BBC. Secretary General, how concerned are you by the risk of Ukraine fatigue? And particularly, are you worried about the elections results in the United States with more Republicans being elected who are calling for the US to diminish its support for Ukraine. President Putin made uh, several huge mistakes when he invaded uh, uh, Ukraine, strategic mistakes. One was to underestimate the Ukrainians, uh, their courage, their uh, commitment to fight and protect their own country. The other mistake he made uh, was to underestimate NATO, allies, uh, partners, uh, in uh, our ability to support Ukraine. And what we have seen is that NATO allies and partners have provided unprecedented uh, uh, support to Ukraine. And what we see when you look at the opinion polls, uh, uh, the political uh, uh, messages from different NATO allied countries, is that uh, we are ready to continue to provide support for as long as it takes. Of course, there are always some voices uh, that uh, have a different opinion. That's always the case in democratic societies. But the overall majority, the clear message from NATO allies is that we will continue to support Ukraine. It's in our interest that they win, that uh, uh, Ukraine prevails as a sovereign independent nation in Europe. And when it comes to the elections in the United States, well, it's not for me to go into the uh, details of those uh, outcomes, especially because there's still counting going on. But it's absolutely clear that there is a strong bipartisan support in the United States for continued support for uh, Ukraine. And that has not changed uh, with the elections that has taken place in the United States uh, uh, yesterday. Are you reassured by the government's defense spending plans? The United Kingdom um, has, uh, lead, uh, has, has, uh, has led uh, uh, by example uh, over many years when it comes to also defense spending, uh, uh, spending more than 2% of GDP uh, on, on defense. The United Kingdom has done that and now more and more allies are following the example of the United Kingdom. Uh, because in a more dangerous world we need to invest more in our defense. And I'm absolutely confident that uh, uh, the United Kingdom will continue to lead by example on defence uh, spending. Russia just announced their withdrawal from Preston. Uh, what do you think? What's your reaction to this event? We have seen the announcement, uh, but uh, we will of course wait and see uh, what actually happens on the ground. What we do know is that Russia has been pushed back, first uh, from the north around uh, uh, Kiev, uh, then uh, 
in the east and on Kharkiv, and then actually we see slowly how the uh, how the Ukrainians are able to push back uh, the uh, Russian forces also in the south around Kherson. Uh, so um, uh, it is encouraging uh, to see how the brave Ukrainian forces are able to liberate uh, more uh, Ukrainian territory. Uh, the victories, uh, the gains the Ukrainian armed forces are making belongs to the brave, courageous Ukrainian uh, soldiers. But of course the support they receive from the United Kingdom, from NATO allies and partners is also essential. So the support we deliver, including the training I saw this morning here in the United Kingdom, is essential. It will continue. And, um, and uh, that is also the message when it comes to the situation around Ukraine, that we will continue to support around Kherson, that we will continue to support uh, uh, Ukraine. Thank you, colleagues.